Good morning, everybody. We are about 2.4 miles into this insane, crazy mountain run. I'm here with my buddy Bryant. What's up? Corey's right behind. What's up? This is the summit of Snook's Nose, 2.4 miles, like, uh, I don't know, 1,200 feet of climb? What's your watch say? Oh, 18, 1,800 feet of climbing, just over two miles. Look at this view. Oh. We had some nice sunrise colors back there. Corey's stripping down, <laughs> putting on some dry clothes. It's kind of windy up here. Yeah. We had just finished rock top. Oh my gosh, those colors. All right guys, so we're about three and a half miles in. Starting the first little downhill before we climb all the way up to the parkway. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, it's pretty small right now, but it's actually just started to snow, <laughs> which was not at all in the forecast, at least not until the end of the day after the sun goes down. But you know, you never know what happens up in the mountains up here. This is absolutely beautiful. The sun just peeked over the clouds over there. Ah, oh, what a day so far. Hopefully it stays like this for as long as it can. <laughs> All right, well, here we are four and a half miles in just about at the Blue Ridge Parkway crossing. Green knob, overlook. You can see behind, ah, oh, what an amazing view. We're at elevation 4,760 feet. Look at that. Wow. I'm gonna switch back up to Green Knob. There's Andrew and Corey. All right, so we're now at the top of Green Knob's fire tower. But, of course, the peaks of the Black Mountains right now are covered in clouds. So I don't know if we'll actually get a view of where we're headed. Uh, maybe, tiny bit. I'm gonna run up this tower real quick and run my little bike back down because it's cold up here. Here's Bryant, Corey and Andrew are just behind. We're going all the way up those mountains. Ah, it's windy. It's so steep, that section is brutal. You see what I mean? Yeah, your, yeah your, feet, your feet lose traction. You just gotta like fall down the hill a little bit. Oh, you actually went down? Yeah, I went down. Oh man. Yeah, that loose dirt. <laughs> I can't stop. Right? Seven and a half miles. 
Hotel is we just got to the Black Mountain Campground area at the bottom of Green Knob. Now we're gonna hop onto the trail, hopefully to Summit Mitchell, but I don't know if you guys can see behind, there's a bit of weather coming in, which is a little concerning with all this wind, but we'll see what we can make out of it. Alrighty, so we're uh, three miles from the summit of Mitchell. We just crossed into some winter wonderland. The section just before here was pretty, pretty snowy. And uh, this is what we've got going on now. The snow has been falling for a little while, maybe a, a two hours. All right, so we are inside of one mile to the summit of Mount Mitchell. Okay, so here we are at this cave. What are we, 13? Six eighty four. But stoke is high. Man, this spin drift is nuts. So yeah, my route went that way, but let's go back this way. About to uh, climb Green Knob, one of the steepest pitches or segments of the pitch. This next like half mile is gonna be brutal. Okay, here we are back at uh, the fire tower. I'm at 24 miles or 20, 23 miles, nine hours, 10,100 feet of climbing. Oh my gosh. All right, so here we are, what, 24 miles in, something like that. We're running down the Blue Ridge Parkway. We all made it back up and over Green Knob, which is a beast of a climb no matter when you do it. How you doing, Brian? Doing good, man. Hanging in Hanging there. Hanging in there. It's the hardest thing I've ever done. <laughs> by far. By far. Definitely. 
Harder than Beast 100? Uh, harder, way oh harder. Oh my goodness, wow. <laughs> way harder, yep. That's saying it's something. Fun, though, man. Definitely. It's been a good time so far. Yeah. What's up guys? So I haven't checked in in a long time. We uh, got finished with the parkway. We turned down Curtis Creek. We took Lead Mine, which was an insane trail. And now we're finishing up the last little bit on Hickory Branch. Right now, I don't know, 31 miles, 30, 32 miles, um, 11 hours. 36 minutes this day has been brutal so far but we are nearing the end in just a few minutes so very close back to Curtis Creek campground uh, how many miles 32 miles waiting on the guys coming down from the ridge up there oh what a day man I am beat I don't know if you guys can see but here they come oh that's good just a little hill theme of the day just another little hill <laughs> Huh? I told you it's gonna be hard. What in the world? Yeah, see the thing is, look at it improve your vocabulary. <laughs> yeah, if you look at the word hard, it's hard? like that's not the like beast 25 miles. Right. That's hard. That's not like so hard is not like how the would most... you how would you define this in your terms? This is extreme. This is extreme. Extreme. This is extreme fitness. 100 extreme. Are you glad you did it? Absolutely. That's what I like to hear. Oh, absolutely. No, I had I had tons of fun, man. Should I make it a race? I think you should. <laughs> Alright, now I just go down this little road, back to the cars, and that'll be it. Touch the gate, boys! We gotta tap the gate like the, like the Barkley. Huh. Oh, this. <laughs> Boom. Oh, really? Females. 33.5, I got. Insane. Thing. I got 11,500 feet. Wow, what a day, huh? Amazing. I can't believe we actually did that shit. Like, I mean, I know y'all could do it, but I can't believe, like... I fucking did it. All right, guys, well, just under 12 hours, over 32 miles. I'll put up all the stats on the screen. What a day. That was absolutely incredible. Um, one of the hardest 30 mile distances I've ever done. Um, that was just insanely hard. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I will see you all in the next video. And um, in whatever you do, just remember, do your best and the best will always happen. I'll see you guys soon and take care. Enjoy the trails. See ya.